You are not going to believe how fun this is. This is a new animal in our Wild Encounters program. This is an anteater, right, called a tamandua. We're here with Susie Simler, who is one of the keepers and trainers. And Susie, honestly, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen because I thought they had a long tongue. But that tongue <laughs> looks like it's sticking out this far. I guess they use that to get yeah, ants. Yeah, they are big termite eaters. Okay. So you can see they use that long sticky tongue to slurp into little holes. Um, their tongue is actually only about the size of a pencil. Yeah. So that tongue is all they have for getting their food out of the holes there. That's wild. You also notice her big front claws. Uh -huh. Same idea. Digging, Those are yeah. great at digging into termite mounds. So tell us a bit about where she lives. If she's an anteater, she must be from South America, right? You got it. Yep. Central and South America. So these are also called lesser anteaters. Okay. And they look similar Versus to the... Versus the greater anteater, right? right? The giant anteater, which the is The giant eater, which are yeah. very large. These are yeah. much smaller. And they're also arboreal. So her tail there is prehensile. Okay. For holding on. Yep. She can hang just from her tail. It can support her entire body weight. Golly, and so her small wild. size keeps her up in the trees. They do come down on the ground, though, to explore and look for termites. So in addition to wax worms, I saw you were feeding her some baby food. Baby food? Yeah. Yes. And then she also gets insectivore, which is a type of ground pellet for animals that eat insects. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can get her some of her favorite baby food over here. There we are. Here we go. Thank you. Look at her. <laughs> For being such great climbers, they actually are fairly clumsy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which is endearing, I think. But you can see that it smells her most keen sense. <clears throat> they can hear really well. Their eyesight isn't as yeah. good as the rest of their senses. Oh my gosh. Well, this is fun. Where will visitors see her? Visitors can see her as she goes out and about and does animal encounters. Yeah. Um, the most likely time will be in the morning. And we'll try to get her out every single day so people can take a look at her. So the next time you come to the zoo, keep your eyes open because you'll see animals all around the grounds and one of them might be Isla, the new tamandua from South America.